welcome back to my PC Demos Tech Tip tutorial series. In this tutorial, I wanted to share an interesting programming challenge I faced back in the days when I made my living as a mold maker. I was asked if I was able to write one CMM program that could create and save individual reports for each cavity on a multi cavity mold, and also to have them stored in such a way as to identify both the mold number and the cavity number in the file name. Well, I love the challenge, so after much trial and error, I was able to come up with a solution that I hope you find both interesting and useful. To achieve this, we need to employ three different PCDMS tools, assigning variables, the input comment, and the print command. Okay, so let's get started. So I'll keep this folder open on the side showing the file names for reference and I'll just start programming. So let's do our first assignment. So I'll assign a variable, the letter M, and in quotations, mold underscore. Next I'll do an input comment prompting the operator to enter the mold number. Another assignment, we can also use the menu bar, insert assignment. So the assign to, I will make the letter C, assign from, this is the value, underscore cavity underscore double quotes. So again I'll explain all this when I'm done. Another assignment, we'll just type it in, hit the tab key. So CN will assign a value of 1, and this will be the cavity number. Our final assignment is report name. Okay, excellent, so we're done. Let's break it down. The key to all of this is that last variable, which I've called report name. So within those quotations, we have both a file path where we will store these files, which folder, C, users, inspection reports. I've decided that ahead of time. And then I have the double backslash. That's important here because it precedes another quotation and another string value. So each one of those names are the name of a variable that I've specified what I want to put in there. And that is the value. For example, mold underscore is, will be placed where the M is. The names are constant, but the values can change, which I'll show you later with CN, cavity number. So I'll change that later as I do my programming. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. The next step is just our regular programming. So I'll just simulate programming each one of the six cavities. And I'll just do any type of feature like an auto circle, give it a name cavity one, and create, and close. So we'll need a dimension as well. So I'll just do a simple location dimension on that. Okay, so the next tool we need to use is the print command. I think you'll find this a very useful and powerful tool, as you'll see in a minute. The print command is found in the menu bar under insert, report command, and print command. There it is, let's give it a click. Okay, so let's start editing our print command. You can do that all within the edit window. I'll put my cursor here at the beginning hit the tab key, and we don't want print to file off, we want that on, so we'll just type the word on, so it will now print to file. And I don't want auto, what I want is overwrite. So let's just start typing that, hit the tab key again. And you can see this path is the default path where our part program is stored. So let's change that, and here I want to plug in my variable called report name. Tab key. 
So you can see it's, it's recognizing that that is a variable, which is actually what I want. So does the input refer to the variable? Yes, it does. So I'll click yes. So that's exactly what I want. Okay, so that command is just as we need it. What this is doing at this point in the program is printing to file that one dimension for that one cavity. And that's all it's doing. What we'll do is repeat this process another five times to do the same for each cavity. So I have six cavities programmed. I've assigned a cavity number to each one. You can see six is assigned to cavity six and so forth. So I've done that for all of them. Uh, one through six. I have the report name variable prior to each cavity. And at the end of the dimensioning, I've got my print command. Okay, so let's run this and see how it works. There we go. So here's my input comment. So this is the one thing I've given the operator responsibility to enter. So I'll just say one for the mold number, and that'll be plugged in as a variable. And this can change with each mold that is loaded onto the machine. Uh, the rest will take care of itself. Okay, so let's enter a one and click OK. And you can see as each cavity is measured, it's printing a report. And when it's done, which it is now, let's open up the file. And there we go. So it worked. You can see it's exactly as I wanted it. Mold number and cavity number are identified in the file name. So that's a nice little trick that a lot of people don't know. I hope you found it useful. You may find that you have to vary this a little bit to suit your particular application. But I'd encourage you to experiment with these variables and assignments, and even the print command. Well, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.